All right, I get a lot of calls about watering my foundation. How's the proper way to do it? Well, you got to give a little bit of water daily. But the first thing you got to know is what do you have for soil? If you're in a sandy soil or a sandy loam, you don't need to be watering. Watering instructions are designed for the black gumbo clay soils because they're very expansive. When they dry out, they shrink. When they get wet, they expand. So by giving it a little bit of water daily, you keep it expanded. It's impossible to keep the soil moist or uh, dry all the time. That's the reason you have to keep it moist all the time to keep it expanded. Well, 15 minutes twice a day is a basic starting point. Now to monitor it, take a large screwdriver, go out, stick it in the ground. If the soil is moist on it, you're perfect. If you can't get it in the ground because it's hard and dry, kick it up to 20 minutes twice a day and then check it again in another month or two. If it's soupy, you pull it out and you get that slurpy sound, hey, it's time to cut it back to 10 minutes twice a day. And you need to be checking this at least once a quarter and making adjustments as the weather designs it. I mean, the weather really is what's designing it because if we get into a drought period, you need a little more water. If we get into a wet period, cut it back. But the key, water year round. In the summer months, you're playing catch up from the, or, I got that wrong. In the winter months, you're playing catch up from the summer. In the summer months, you're just trying to keep up with it. Now, I already said 15 minutes twice a day, but here's some key factors to it. City pressure comes in at 50 to 80 PSI, way too high for the soaker hoses. You get a lot of water at the beginning, nothing at the end. Take that little plug out that they got that little eighth inch hole drilled into it, throw that thing in the trash and get you a pressure regulator, dropping the city pressure down to between 15 and 20 PSI. That will balance it out where you get even water dispersal throughout the hose, even if you hook two or three hoses together. Next thing, you want to put a filter on there so that you're kind of getting rid of all the debris that goes in because you don't need it clogging the pores of that soaker hose. You do all those items, you maintain your foundation for years to come. But one side note, when you water, you're keeping moisture. And if you got trees around the house, they're looking for moisture, especially during dry periods. So the tree roots may head towards your house, which again could cause a foundation problem. That can be maintained by doing a root barrier but that's a different clip. For more videos and tips like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to THIPro.com.